hello joyful tribe welcome back to the channel trust everyone is doing well today i share how to cook the authentic afang soup recipe you do not want to miss this video so keep watching first i'll show you the list of ingredients you need for this recipe number one is water leaf you will also need the afang leaf itself also known as okazi leaf i have here some snails and one more i cut some one more tiny and i have some of them still around You'll need good quality palm oil. Emphasis on good quality. Please check the description box for the one I'm using. I have here some smoked ejakika, also known as panla fish. Smoked catfish is also delicious in Afang soup. Or use any fish you like. Some ground crayfish, very important. Periwinkle, if you have the one in the shell, better. But this is the one I have. Also have a combination of red and yellow hot peppers. Some seasoning to taste. This one is called Oboroko Head. It's been soaked in hot water and washed thoroughly. And finally, I have some goat meat. Prepping the vegetables for this soup, that is the water leaf and afang leaf, is the most tedious part for me. So what I like to do is start a day before. If I know I'll make afang soup tomorrow, tonight I'll pluck it, wash it, slice it and then let it air dry until the next morning. You can also do this in the market if you don't mind. Buy the leaf, have them cut it and even grind it for you. But I'm sorry, I mind the dust. I always like to wash it at home myself to be sure it is clean. And as you'll see in a bit, the water is always very dirty. So wash it multiple times until the water runs clear. Now we are done washing and down to the main, the main job. Okay, you're going to now start arranging them like this. What I like to do is put the broad one underneath so I can fold it easily just like this. And you're going to slice it thinly. Yes, so I like to cut off the head as well like this and cut it really thin. Not sure if I did a good job here because trust me, those market women are the real experts. They can cut this thing as thin as you can imagine and super fast as well. Their knives, very sharp. I even had to switch knife myself in between while slicing this. So after slicing, because I was going to cook it the next morning, I spread it on a tray to dry. Now this is the next morning. You don't have to wait till the next morning. If you want to cook it that same day, why not? Go ahead and pound it. So I've added into my mortar. I am going to pound until it is like this. Okay. Now you're going to scoop it out and set it aside. One major tip to bear in mind when making this soup is the ratio of your afang to your water leaf. For this soup, I'm using 40-60. The afang is 40% and the water leaf is 60%. Now, during the dry season, you're going to tweak this a little. The afang should now be 30 and the water leaf 70 so that you have more moisture. Okay, so you want to wash your water leaf. I've plucked it already. Wash it really well so that there is no sand. Squeeze out the liquid in it. That's the water in it. And you're going to cut this really thinly. Anytime you're making any calabash soup that requires water leaf, the water leaf should be cut very thinly. So finally done cutting the vegetables and in real life, I actually did this. Hmm, you know that sigh of relief? I did that. <laughs> so now let's start cooking proper. In your pot, go in with your protein of choice. Mine is goat meat. Add some pepper and season. You may choose to add salt, but this seasoning I'm using is very sharp, so I won't be adding that. I'll stir that really well to combine. Cover for this to sweat out its own moisture for about 15 minutes. This meat is male goat meat. It doesn't take time to cook. 15 minutes later, I'm going to come back, stir on this and add the rest of the protein I need to add now. So go in with the washed snail, the bomo, both the chopped and whole ones. I'm also going to add the oboroko now and I'm going to add some crayfish. Yes, add some crayfish, add water and you're going to allow this to cook. Now, before I started to cook, I went in with my fish. The fish I'm using is quite tough. This is a jackika. They almost smoked the life out of it. It was very dry. So I needed to add it at this point so it will cook together with the meat and the rest of the protein. But if your fish is not tough, you don't have to add it now. I'll tell you when to add it as I progress. Okay, so I'm adding mine now and then I'll cover and begin to cook.
Today's virtual hug is for Rosemary Wankwo, watching from USA, and Udo Ketrin, watching from South Africa. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from. All right, so this was about 15 minutes later. You can take out your snail at this point, but mine was still a bit hard, so I continued to cook. I'm going to go in with half of the palm oil I need for this entire cooking. You'll add the last batch later, and I'll show you when. So add this palm oil, and then you can taste and adjust at this point with seasoning or salt if necessary. I went in with a bit more crayfish, okay? So stir that in, cover and let this cook for about seven minutes. So let's say you're using a softer type of fish. You'll add it around this time. Add the fish, the palm oil, and you know, allow to cook for seven minutes. Seven minutes later, I'll then go in with a chopped water leaf and the periwinkle. I'll start to combine, you know, just a little bit. You don't want to activate the slime in the water leaf. Some people even wash their water leaf like bitter leaf before cooking with it but i won't be doing that so stir gently and then cover for it to steam for three minutes after three minutes i opened this pot and oh my god you know now the aroma was nose blinding and just the way it is i mean this right here is water leaf soup if there's one thing i would have added it would be ogiri and you'll have a delicious pot of soup but we are making afang soup so let's concentrate i have now added the pounded afang and a bit more palm oil i know afang soup requires good amount of palm oil you can totally skip this last batch but it does something to this soup trust me it adds to the sweetness <laughs> okay so add it there and after about a minute you don't want to cook the afang at all after about a minute it is ready check this out oh my god is this not looking delicious so take it off the heat serve with any swallower of your choice i personally think this slaps with fufu oh my god i had this with fufu it was so good i hope you get to try this out and enjoy it thank you so much for watching see you in my next one bye